Good morning, this is your media report for Wednesday, September 2nd, 2015. I'm Sergeant Lori McGee, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. During the last 24 hours, police have responded to 108 calls for service. We would like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations. We can be reached at 506-648-3333, at our email, police at stjohn.ca, or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website at crimemb.ca. At 12.35 p.m. yesterday, a 16-year-old female was arrested for mischief when she refused to exit her social worker's vehicle. The worker made attempts to negotiate with the youth for approximately two hours before contacting police for assistance. After another hour of trying to reason with the youth, she was arrested. She was later released on conditions. At 1.05 p.m., police were called to Consumer Drive for a report of a male and a female arguing. A 25-year-old female was arrested for assaulting her ex-boyfriend. She was later released on conditions to appear in court at a later date. At 2 p.m., a 24-year-old male was arrested for an outstanding theft file. The accused was released to appear in court at a later date. At 12.04 a.m., a 35-year-old male was arrested for impaired driving as a result of a vehicle rollover on Westmoreland Road at the entrance of St. Joseph's Cemetery. One of the two female passengers received an injury to her arm and went to hospital for treatment. The accused was later released and will appear in court at a later date. At 2.41 a.m., a 46-year-old female was arrested at the Max Club on Union Street. Officers were there on an unrelated matter when they located a bulk quantity of marijuana. The accused was charged with possession for the purpose of traffic. She was later released and will appear in court at a future date. This will conclude the media report for Wednesday, September 2nd. Have a good day and be safe.